Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and these are the five ways to fix bone mare. Now, I never really thought I'd be doing a video talking about how to fix or essentially nerf a neutral common card, but bone mare has been such a consistently dominant force in the Knights of the Frozen Throne meta that I think it's time to talk about this card. Some of you might be wondering why a card like Bone Mare needs nerfed. Well, I have a couple reasons for that. Number one, it's in 35% of decks in the meta right now. That is the most popular card in all of Hearthstone. It is absolutely meta-defining. Anybody that can find an excuse to run this card is doing exactly that. They're finding a reason to play it. People want to run Bone Mare. They're changing their decks even so far as doing things like adding Cairn to Tempo Rogue just to enable stronger Bone Mares to make this single card more consistent. And when the meta is being reshaped so definitively by a single card and a neutral common card at that, that's a sign that it's very powerful. And in fact, too powerful. When you compare Bone Mare to something like Cobalt Scalebane, another neutral card from Knights of the Frozen Throne, which is seeing a lot of play. Well, Bone Mare is being played almost twice as often as Cobalt Scalebane, and its win rate is more than 4% higher than Cobalt Scalebane when each card is actually played. So Bone Mare is a game-winning, game-swinging, incredibly overpowered kind of card compared to similar style cards like Cobalt Scalebane that are used in similar kinds of aggro slash mid-range style list. So to me, it's a pretty clear sign that Bone Mare is just doing too much. He's too swingy, too powerful, too definitive, and being played far too often. Now, I don't mind common cards being good. In fact, I think that's great for Hearthstone to have strong, high-cost cards that are cheap to craft. That's something we haven't seen a ton of. But it's clear that Bone Mare has taken that just a step too far. So I do have five changes in this video that I think would dial back on the power level of Bone Mare and pull it to a more reasonable level. And I have to say, these are actually pretty stupid, simple changes. It doesn't take much to make Bone Mare look and feel much more balanced as a card so that it doesn't do quite so much, quite so instantly with a plus four, plus four that essentially has charge and taunt that's just so much value in a single card and instant value at that. So with these five changes, keep in mind, they're going to be quick, they're going to be easy, but each and every one of them would make Bone Mare a far more reasonable card. So let's go ahead and jump into my five ways to fix this card. Starting off with the first fix, it's really the simplest of all, and the one that Blizzard would likely actually do, and that is simply upping the mana cost of Bone Mare by one to make it cost eight mana instead of seven. This does a couple things. It makes it harder to combo out Bone Mare in a single turn with other cards. So it's not like something you can top deck in the late game and drop along a three drop. Uh, that's suddenly impossible. You have to find cheaper cost cards to combo with Bone Mare. But also, of course, it just puts it one turn later into the game before you can use Bone Mare in the first place. So setting up that giant taunt or the huge pressure that a buffed minion can accomplish via Bone Mare is just a tad slower, so it's less swingy, less influential. It gives the opponent more time to enact their game plan before they have to start playing around Bone Mare to make really inefficient trades to clear your board, or just allows them to do enough damage to kill you so that Bone Mare is not some ultimate in-game stabilizing tool. So Blizzard loves nerfing mana costs of cards. That's how they almost always do it, just upping the mana cost by one. So as simple as this is, it's likely a change that would make Bone Mare still a playable card. For most decks, 8 drops can still be run by mid rangey tempo-style decks, so I think it would still be played, but it would be far less powerful. The win rate would drop a few points, and it would make Bone Mare feel like a more fun and fair card. Moving on to the second change, that is that you could nerf the stats on the Bone Mare itself. Giving something plus 4, plus 4 in Taunt immediately is so darn powerful already and then when you leave behind that 5-5 five, five body that's attached to the bone mare often that does a lot of work as well because if your opponent finds the resources to answer the minion that you just buffed they might have time actually answering the bone mare i've seen a lot of people just chain a bone mare 
into a bone mare where they buff the body of the bone mare because it got left behind and the opponent just couldn't quite string together the damage to kill the remaining 5-5. So reducing the stats on the bone mare itself means there are total less stats being dumped onto the board for 7 mana, so that feels more fair. This puts it at 7-7 seven, seven for 7, which is a pretty obviously vanilla kind of stat line, but it still is really strong because 4-4 four, four of that is is instant. It's getting charged. It's a buff. So it's better than your war golems, but still in line, so it's not quite that 9-9 nine, nine super stat dump. This is just another one that makes the Bone Mare feel far less swingy, far less impactful without breaking the card. I still think it'd be playable because the real power curve, the real power part of the card, the plus four, plus four buff, is not being changed here. So still good, but dialed back a little bit. So let's move on to the third change. I think this one is the least of a nerf, the smallest tweak in a lot of ways, and that is that you could remove Taunt from the buff that Bone Mare provides. If you're already going to give so many stats to this card in the instant plus four plus four, why on earth does it also need taunt? There's a lot of times when a deck can stabilize behind that taunt effect that it's really hard as an opponent to overcome that. It's a huge punish essentially where your opponent has to trade into all of this mountain of stats that usually occur anytime that bone mare buff goes off so now this would become less of a defensive utility and become far more of an offensive power kind of card so it'd be much much better when you're ahead in the game but it wouldn't be nearly so powerful for a deck that's behind in the game so it would force this into decks that really do focus harder on tempo and it would require them to play and be built in certain kinds of ways making bone mare less of a general use kind of card but it would also just mean that it's uh, less of a recovery card and, and a bit more of a win more card or a finishing card as opposed to a stabilization tool. So that's another one that would just chip away at the win rate a little bit, make it feel far more fun to play against for certain kinds of decks where they don't feel like Bone Mare alone is the card that cost them the game. And I think it would be a very subtle change, but a powerful one nonetheless and would bring this card in line with where it's supposed to be. Moving on to the fourth change, you could actually go the other way around. Instead of removing the defensive capabilities from Bone Mare, you could actually remove some of the offensive capabilities from Bone Mare by taking away the plus four attack, but keeping the plus four health and the taunt. So you could use Bone Mare as a super defensive tool. Now, I do think I should say this is the biggest nerf of any of the nerfs on this list. I think this would hurt the card the most. So this is not necessarily a direction I'd like to take Bone Mare in, but still a 5-9 taunt, a lot of that which is active, the plus 4 health and taunt being immediate on the board, uh, is pretty good for a 7 drop, honestly. That compares similarly to things like Ancient of War. So that still would be a decent card, I think, but it would not be run by most of the decks that are running Bone Mare right now because a large part of the importance is that plus 4 damage getting charged hitting the board right away, making trades, or just hitting your opponent in the face for a ton of damage. So I think this would come close to killing the card. I'm not sure how many decks would play Bone Mare with this change. So maybe something a little more subtle like plus two, plus four, and taunt would be accomplishing the same kind of goal without nerfing the card completely. But I did want to show just how different it could look. Perhaps you could even go plus six health, but no attack and it would be a similar idea too. So there are ways to change this card along that vector where you take away the attack, but make it a big defensive kind of tool that could be an interesting change, but I'm feeling personally that that might change the spirit of the card a little bit too much, so I don't really like this idea, although I do think it's an important one to showcase. And then for my fifth change, we have one that's pretty similar actually to the last one that makes Bone Mare much more of a defensive tool as opposed to an offensive one, but doesn't completely cripple the card's power level, I would argue. And that is that you could also add the can't attack tag to the minion that Bone Mare buffs. So you still get the big pile of stats, you still force your opponent to act through the buff, but the buff is not given that instant charge where it can attack immediately, so this becomes less of a face damage kind of play for aggressive decks, and becomes more of a board-centric play. 
Now, some people might say this is too big of a nerf, but I don't really think so. There's been a lot of powerful instances in Hearthstone where taunting up something like an Ancient Watcher for that just taunted 4-5 can be really powerful, forcing your opponent to move through these can't-attack kinds of minions. So Bone Mirror would essentially provide that with all the Fireflies and everything else that are out there in the world. It would still be a really interesting play and a way to empower things like Silverhand Recruits and Totems for Shaman. So it would still see play in certain instances, but it would reduce just how commonly we see this card and also reduce the win rate a little bit. But I think this would be a cool, neat idea for Bone Mare that would change the card just enough without absolutely killing it. And there you go, here we are back to the regular old Bone Mare, the card that to me is pretty clearly a little bit overpowered these days. So I would like to see any of these five fixes to Bone Mare. I don't know if I have a favorite necessarily, but I'm curious what you guys think. Which of these five fixes would you like to see made to Bone Mare? Do you think Bone Mare needs a change at all? Or maybe the card is perfectly fine in your mind. In either instance, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Share your take. Share your cool idea for changing this card in a positive way. Put all that in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, game on.